people. I did know you were very fun, but I didn't realise just how famous you were that you were the first player to represent England at every level. Uh, football, not singing. Yeah, football. <laughs> football. Uh, and, you know, obviously you were even a manager. Uh, you, you managed Barcelona, and and you did lots of English, English clubs as well. So you are the man to talk to. Right. Uh, England. How are they going to do? I think we do well. I think that um, the opposition is strong, but not anything to be frightened of. France, Italy, Argentina, Brazil, and then we'll, we're, we're there then after that, I think. So I'm concentrated. I'm trying to remember this for dinner parties and things. <laughs> <laughs> so I can, ring, I I can have an opinion. <laughs> <laughs> so, but do you think we'll get through to the second round? Yes. I think yes. it's a tough group, but I think we're better off having a tough group than one where they say, oh, we'll win easy. I think we, we react better. Right. Now, there you are. You've been England manager. I mean, you've done it. Uh, do, uh, what do you reckon on Sven? I think he's done very well, actually. He's done very well on and off the field, I think. <laughs> <laughs> you can't argue with that. Uh, but does he do much of the coaching? Because that man... Does he do much of the what? The, the coaching. <laughs> coaching. Yeah. The managing. Because the, the Thordy Grippy man, uh, the other man, you know the man who's always it's with his, him. He's his partner. He's his guy that he relies on, trusts, and does a lot of the games that, uh, that he can't see. They can't... He can't see them all, so he's got, he's got someone he trusts, which is a good idea. I suppose. As opposed to the reverse, of course. You know. That's right. Are you going out to Japan? Oh, you no. are. You're commentating, aren't you? You're commentating here at the, from the studio. and uh, You're no fool. Well, well, you don't have to get up early. It's a long way. Well, you would have to get up early if I'm going to go there every day, wouldn't I? Yes, that's <laughs> true. You would. You would. <laughs> but now, this singing thing, this singing malarkey, it's not the first time that you've made forays out of football. You've done lots of kind of, well, slightly mad things. Correct. You're yeah. right. You're right. Like, I, I agree. Because now, because I was, at, you know, obviously, I was at the Beckham thing yesterday, because I couldn't go on about it anymore. <laughs> and, uh, and, you know, the amount of money there, because when you were in football, of course, they didn't have... Money. You, well, <laughs> well, they, they, they capped your wages. You couldn't earn above a certain That's amount. That's quite right. When I started, it was £20 a week. And it was quite funny, really, because I've, when, when the, the, the cap come off, and they said, you can earn anything you want. My contract was up, and I thought, this is fantastic. I was on £20 a week, I'll go in and negotiate. So I went in, and I come out with £20 a week. <laughs> I didn't earn a penny more. I'd done, so my negotiations weren't too good in those days. But when days. you look back at your career now, are you a bit gutted that you're not having it now? No, not really, because it's, it's all in the time. And before that, Stanley Matthews and Tom Finney, those guys, um, hardly anything at all. So, I, honestly, good luck to them. But now, things like you, you did to make money outside of football because you weren't making so much there. Try that. Let's uh, try. Talk us through the thing in me wigs. Oh my goodness gracious! Now this is a genius Where'd idea. Where did you get that one from? from? Okay, talk us through what the thing in me wig was. Well, the thing in me wig was a friend of mine had this idea, who actually was. I love that immediately passing the blame. A friend of mine. <laughs> I got into it later. <laughs> you're right. You're right. So he's, they used to call him Bilko because he was a, a schemer. So he said to me, "I've got this great idea." He said, "Because in the East End, the women they love to go out Saturday nights. So Saturday mornings they go out shopping, and we've come up with this, and it was like a." A cap, a big... You've got one, don't tell me. Have you got one here? <laughs> well, I've got something a bit similar. <laughs> <laughs> cap, and, and then in the Velcro with the hair coming down at the bottom. So they go out shopping with that, sort of take it off in the evening, and the, they're ready for the... And they could the brush out, out the rollers. Correct, yeah. So, no, but seriously, oh, was it? it? No, no. <laughs> is, is this essentially... It's my one. Is that what it was? <laughs> it's mine. <laughs> Because you think shopping in your rollers would be less humiliating than this. <laughs> I said, don't knock it, you look all right, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm loving it. Um, <laughs> was it a success, uh, Terry? No. Fair enough. <laughs> oh, Tim, is Tim, has Tim done it? Tim, Tim has, he's dicked his wig. Here's Tim. Very good.